Well, yesterday I was putting out in a cat video within a, a kitty cat video that I was talking about the Browns gas or the hydroxy or HHO. This is a Browns gas machine. I'm actually using a cheap Chinese um, portable acrylic plastic welder that produces HHO and I adapted it to uh, a breathing machine. I'm using the cannula right here. I got it on right now. I was suspecting that since it makes the water plasma which is negatively charged that's the opposite charge of viruses plus it gets in the lungs and um, where the virus might be multiplying well thanks a lot Rocky knocked all the freaking food over so uh, that's why I'm like always working on these guys but uh, he, um, the thing is that this this does seem I did say this and I one thing I from a personal aspect not that I had the virus but I was cleaning out my vacuum cleaner outside and I was breathing some of the dust when I was blowing it out with the air and you know it clogs up the, your lungs a little bit and I was like you know it's kind of wheezing from the all the dust that I got in my lungs uh, when I after I was cleaning out my vacuum cleaner and so I was using this after that and it cleared it up pretty damn quick it the hydrogen did it broke up the mucus in the lungs so um, I'd assume it would work the same way with you know the viral matters but what I saw, somebody pointed out a link that the Chinese are using the Browns gas or HHO or hydroxy, the same name for the same stuff, which is this. This is the stuff I'm making right here. They were using it for the COVID-19 virus or coronavirus, which I know is a big freaking Bill Gates exaggeration to get us all vaccinated and all this other crap. It's amazing how many people obey this garbage. And um, it's more that I absolutely despise everybody in a position of government that's going along with this. I don't care what their rank is. I'm an anti-authoritarian, actually, you know? <laughs> that's what I am. Because um, the author authorities don't freaking, uh, they didn't earn nothing. They freaking, they just got scammed into whatever position they were. Garbage, garbage, pe garbage, garbage, garbage people. Uh, but this does work. This does, um, it worked for me specifically, not for a virus, but I had a bunch of dust in my lungs from when I was cleaning out the vacuum cleaner bag with the, with the uh, air compressor and stuff, and I breathed some of that dust coming up in my face, and I was like wheezing, you know? That was like a few weeks ago, I guess right before the viral the outbreak thing, whatever, and this cleared it right up. This was, That was not a virus, though. That was just irritation from dust, but it cleared up the mucus in my lungs real quick, this, the, this stuff did. So yesterday when I was putting out a kitty cat video with Onyx and Feather, who are outside, they just went outside right now, the two black cats, um, mama and son. Well, they, um, it, it, I was speculating that this would probably work. And I, I noticed some reports that say the Browns gas actually could make something worse because it feeds everything that's life enhancing. But I'd have to say that I don't think it does feed everything that's life because virus is not a life. It's not a, life, a living organism. And on top of that, the H2O plasma, plasma, which is not the hydrogen, but it's the H2O that is plasma. It's like in a gaseous state, but it's not a vapor. It's a, it's a fourth state of matter. It's like right before the water H2O breaks into separate elements. That has a high negative charge with it. It's loaded up with electrons. That would be oppositely charged. If of against all microbes and viruses because they, that's just how things are. Bad microbes and viruses have an opposite charge of the human body. That's one of the reasons it, it, it works against the human body. It's not just a biological and chemical thing, it's an electrical thing. Uh, but the Chinese have been using the Browns gas very successfully against um, the COVID-19 virus. So, you know, what can I tell you, man? But to me, this is a you know, I put this together. It was 125 bucks for the, the, the device, and I put it together with the mason jar, some paracord. I got a handle on here, and um, I got the, the stone, the stone right here that does for the bubbling the water. But actually, I used a little hydrogen bottle for making the water mostly, which is just plain hydrogen, not hydroxy. But it's easier. And uh, I've got the cannula and stuff. I think I paid total 165 170 bucks plus I got a whole bunch of extra hose and a bunch of extra um, um, mason jars with the silicone these are 
plastic bleaching jars. These are not glass. So say there was an explosion of the gas, it's plastic. It's not going to, it would just pop the lid off. It wouldn't even break the plastic probably. But uh, they're not glass mason jars. And they have a special silicon seal in there. And this is shoe goo that holds this on. This is shoe goo. So this is permanently glued in there. And there's this fitting on this one. And this goes down to the bottom bubbles through the water and the, the fitting on the top is like right next to the lid it just picks up the purified gas off of here and then of course there's this thing's filled up with two-thirds of water works on the same principle so it's a double bubbler filter and uh, I ran it just a little higher you can see on the gauge it's a little over five amps put a little tiny bit more electrolyte I used about one and a half level teaspoons one plus a half level teaspoons. I put just a hair more, so it's running just a little bit quicker. I don't know exactly where it's running, but it is uh, it is within a safe limit. It's not any, uh, I'm not putting this out at full power at 75 liters an hour. It's, it's, it's doing less than that. It's probably doing about half that, so it's in a safe limit for me, so uh, cheap way to get by, and um, I've been running this overnight. I've been running, I've been sleeping with this overnight using the power zapper, the power zapper, and the spooky scaler, and this all at the same time with um, the Steve's oil concoction being uh, with the spooky scaler, using molecular scaler with the Thieves oil going through every cell in my body. I don't know, I feel pretty good. I mean, I don't, you know, I've been doing this, I'm not doing this because it is stupid virus scam. I've been doing this for forever. I've been using the power zapper eight hours a day for the last five years. Um, I take a bunch of vitamins. I take 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C every single day, just as a normal standard operating procedure that I do. Like, so, like, I look at this virus, and it's just an ordinary freaking stupid virus, and I know Bill Gates wants to make us all have freaking uh, vaccinations and shit. I, I, I know what's going on, but you know what really, really upsets me about this? The fact that people obey, and especially like governmental officials and law enforcement, they are actually telling me, well, they already knew it. I got the lowest opinion of them anyway. I really pray they all get the vaccinations, and we don't have to get the vaccinations, and let nature take its course with those jackasses. I really, I got a, the deepest, I think the government officials and law enforcement is basically as communist that are destroying every one of our freedoms. And um, because they're going along with this shit, their master is Bill Gates, basically, and whatever. I, can, I don't want to say too much on here. You can look at my bitch shoot videos and see what else is going on. So, anyway, have a nice day. But uh, this is probably a cheap way to get by with... Uh, and, you know, I'm not sure... You know, I'm not sure if you can actually add something to the bubbler that would even purify the water more. Um, yeah, I, I'd almost imagine, say for instance, you didn't even have this thing. Say you got an aquarium tank bubbler, a fish tank bubbler, aquarium bubbler, and you made a little jar like this, and you put a dose of hydrogen peroxide, not pure hydrogen peroxide, but the food grade, maybe like a teaspoon or something like that in the water. Then you breathe it through the cantaloupe like this. Who the hell knows? That might work. Because actually I think that, I know that, that if you take the thieves oil, which is the concoction of like lemon oil, cloves, cloves, rosemary, eucalyptus, and you breathe it, that actually kills the germs right directly under your lungs. You can just breathe a lot of these essential oils and they have a great effect. They're cheap, right? Right, Rocky? Boy, is he... I gotta get these guys some dewormer stuff, man. I'll probably go down there today and get it. Freaking, <laughs> Freaking yo-yos. Right? Putin's okay. He's in here, too. It's, it cooled down here in Florida. I'm glad because it was getting a little freaking hot and no wind. I'm like, God. Anyway, I gotta clean up your mess, you freaking bum. Thank you very much for doing that. I mean, you know, they don't do it on purpose, but they just... Sometimes I'm like, shit. Again? <laughs> so, got food trays all over here for these yo-yos, man. They got it. There you got it made. Anyway, 
Yeah, if you want to drop me a couple of dimes, the only place you can do it is on Bitchu. You go to Bitchu, Synergy 7, S Y Y Energy 7. And, um, you know, I didn't want to make a claim that this thing would be effective against the COVID 19 virus or the coronavirus. I was just observing how it cleared up my lungs from when I got a lot of dust in my lungs and the lungs were mu irritated and had mucus. I was suspecting that it would work and I also knew that the, the charge of the um, H2O plasma is oppositely charged of bad microbes and viruses, so why wouldn't it work? But then I saw somebody point, gave me a link and I, I saw that where the Chinese have been using Brown's gas, another name for it is HHO or hydroxy gas, um, if successfully against the COVID-19 virus. That's one of the worst things you can have when, when you, the worst things that like that happens to your body when you have the virus is that you lose a lot of your breathing capacity because of inflammation. Well, if this actually, I thought this would cut down the inflammation and cut down and break up the mu mucus um, because it worked with the dust, you know, I'm assuming it would work, why wouldn't it work with the virus, you know? But if you could breathe a lot cleaner, a lot clearer, and you could take a breath and it's like 100% breath, and you still got the virus, well, if you could breathe good, that's that's going to be a major help. So I think this stuff, this thing is a good thing to have. Not, But, you know, I'm doing this because of longevity and anti-aging and reverse aging. I'm not really doing it for the virus, so I'll just point that out. But that, that seems to be very solid information. But as always... You know, I pointed out several times, they've known since the 1940s that intravenous vitamin C will basically obliterate any flu, influenza, pneumonia, uh, and a host of other ailments, and the doctors won't use it because they're owned by the pharmaceutical, and they really, most of them don't care. They're just making big bucks. So we got a, we got an evil um, power control money system, and, you know, YouTube is part of that. YouTube is actually part of that, the... Uh, the acts, uh, the, the ones that wield the acts that chop off people from saying what they needs to be said, uh, they're all part of the freaking, cons call it what it is, it is really a conspiracy. Uh, well, here comes Putin. Hey, Mr. Putin. Here he is. <laughs> well, my little friend. So three inside, two outside. The two outside should be okay. So uh, we need to... Uh, yeah, go over to Bitchu. I got other videos on here that aren't on Bit on, on YouTube at all. So anyway, over now. This is working. I gotta clean up these guys freaking treats he knocked all over. God man. Just cleaned up the floor. Let me do it again. There we go. 